Street is running for Pennsylvania's 2022 United States Senate election. He announced the formation of his exploratory committee. Today I stand here to, to launch a committee as opposed to merely saying, I'm a candidate, let's go. Because if we're going to really win this and we're going to be able to govern, we're going to have to be able to bring people together. United we stand. Yep, United we stand. And so, yes, legally I filed all the paperwork and meet all the qualifications of the Federal Elections Commission. And by their standards, I am a candidate for the United States Senate. That is, in fact, a fact. So that is a portion of his announcement there. So he joins a growing list of Democratic candidates, including Lieutenant Governor John Fetterman, Representative Malcolm Kenyatta, Montgomery County Commissioner Dr. Valerie Arcouche, and John McGugan of Norristown. And some of the Republicans who have announced include Kathy Barnett, Jeff Bartos, Sean Gale, and Everett Stern. So we want to bring in Senator Sharif Street, who's joining us now. Good morning Good to morning. you. Hey, good morning. How are you? We are doing all right on this Monday. Well, let's go back to the announcement that you made because you did do it a little differently um, where you said, hey, I am announcing, but I'm doing an exploratory committee. What is the goal that you're trying to achieve by saying, hey, let's do this committee? Well, I think what's important is that we need to have a process whereby regular Pennsylvanians can get some real buy-in um, where, where they can understand this is a process. We need to one, oh, in order for me to, to be successful, in order really for anyone to be successful, there needs to be broad-based buy -in. This is a big state, five media markets, a number of uh, big, big cities, small cities, small towns, and rural voters. Uh, we need to have, we, and, and then there needs to be a platform and an agenda. That's important both for winning the primary, the general election, but also for governing in a unifying way that allows us to actually advance Pennsylvania. So let's talk about the platform, the agenda here. I want to get right to the issues, and I want to start with gun violence, a major problem plaguing uh, much of the city. Well, yeah, gun violence is a major problem. And, th and this is another example about why we want to sort of governing by Twitter, uh, which we've seen in the previous administration, and a lot of it's popular with a lot of candidates nowadays, isn't the best thing. Because when you really start boring down on some of these issues, a number of people from a, a, a variety of backgrounds support them. But if you just go back and tweet, We'll tweet out, got to stop gun violence. Somebody else will say, you need to support Second Amendment. The reality is that uh, the reporting of lost and stolen handguns, legislation I have advanced and I'm co-sponsor of, uh, championed by my colleague, Senator Tartaglione at the state level, is supported by a number, of, by most gun owners and, of course, everyone else. And that, that legislation would, would allow us to go after straw purchasers to reduce the availability of guns. If we talk about things like uh, you know, expanded background checks, also widely supported these but you have to have a real conversation where you say look we're not trying to stop people from hunting uh and enjoying uh you know outdoorsman activities but we do want to stop um tons of guns from being sold and used in, in communities of color and, and inner city communities and inner cities aren't just philadelphia it's Reading, it's lancaster it's harrisburg it's pittsburgh it's erie um, so there's so many cities where we have gun violence and now in suburban areas you have kids doing active shooter drills under their desk there is consensus on a number of things we can do, but we need a, we need leaders who can build consensus and then actually get laws passed. I think I'll be able to do that. And especially after coming off of another violent weekend um, in Philadelphia where we saw that 12 people were shot. Uh, for the next one, though, what is your stance on raising the minimum wage? Look, I support raising the minimum wage. Again, an area where most, most Americans recognize that there's a need for the minimum wage. In Pennsylvania, it's, it, it is far too low. We're at 725 which is the federal minimum wage. Um, but there needs to be a conversation. We need to engage business owners. We need to be talking to uh, ordinary people. And we need to explain that, look, we can raise the minimum wage, that raising the minimum wage creates the kind of uh, economic activity. Uh, if you go back to um, um, Henry Ford, Henry Ford understood that paying people a livable wage created a market for his products. And ultimately, what, what was good for the, uh, the economy was good for business. Um, we need to be able to go back to having a conversation where we don't just do these things uh, by tweet and bubble. And somebody says, oh, my goodness, I'm going to all of a sudden have to uh, pay my workers more money, but that doesn't mean I'm going to be able to charge sure. products more. The reality is that the, that, that the current proposal at the federal level phases in um, uh, in a responsible way, increases to the minimum wage. And if when you do it that way, you'll, you'll find that. Uh, it, you can, you can, you can, uh, businesses can adjust and ultimately the economic activity that is created by uh, raising the minimum wage Could make a is difference. better for business, it's better for businesses than not doing it. Real but quick, you have to have a real conversation. And I apologize for cutting that answer short. Uh, I want to get no to problem. two final ones here in our, our final moments, strengthening our schools and stabilizing our taxes. 
Oh, well, look, we have to, we need to, we need to invest in, uh, at the state level, we need to vet, uh, our support and have uh, been a big supporter of increasing um, funding for schools, operational funding. We need to have more funding for learning. And our, in terms of our infrastructure, school infrastructure, we have billions of dollars of as lead and asbestos, not only at Philadelphia schools, but at schools through all but the wealthiest districts um, throughout this Commonwealth. We should have a massive federal investment in school infrastructure. We should do more at the state and local level too. But if we have a, a significant increase uh, in the lines of what the governor has proposed around school funding, operational funding at the state level, and a massive in, uh, infrastructure funding at the federal level, that will help. And it will also stimulate the economy and create a number of new jobs, particularly that infrastructure investment. All right, all right. without having to raise taxes, it is A-10. Pennsylvania State Senator Sharif uh, Street joining us this morning, making a run 2022 Senate. We certainly appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you as well.